Let's try to solve these problems. Convert the mixed number to improper fraction. So for number 1, we have 3 and 5 ninths. So to convert a mixed number to improper fraction, we simply multiply the whole number by the denominator. So we have 3 times 9, that's 27. And then we need to add the product to the numerator, 5. So, 27 plus 5, that's 32. So, 32 will be the numerator of the improper fraction. And then, we just need to copy the same denominator of 9. So, 3 and 5, 9 is equal to 32 over 9. For number 2, we have 5 and 7, 8. Again, we can multiply the whole number by the denominator. So, 5 times 8, that's 40. And then, we need to add the product to the numerator, which is 7. So, we will have 40 plus 7 or 47. So, this will be the numerator of the improper fraction. And then, we just need to copy the same denominator of 8. So, 5 and 7, 8 is equal to 47 over 8. For number 3, we have 6 and 9, 10. Again, let's multiply the whole number 6. By the denominator 10, so 6 times 10, that's 60. And then let's add the product to the numerator 9. So we will have 60 plus 9, it's 69. So therefore, the numerator of the improper fraction is 69. And then we just need to copy the same denominator of 10. So 6 and 9 tenths is equal to 69 over 10. Next, let's convert the improper fraction to mixed number. So for number 1, we have 9 over 5. So this time, to convert an improper fraction to mixed number, we simply divide the numerator by the denominator. So if you try to divide the numerator 9 by denominator 5, so 9 divided by 5, it's 1. Then 1 times 5, 5. Subtract 9 minus 5, it's 4. So the quotient 1 will be the whole number of the mixed number. The remainder 4 will be the numerator of the mixed number. And then you just need to copy the same denominator of 5. So 9 fifths is equal to 1 and 4 fifths. For number 2, we have 123 over 10. Again, we simply divide the numerator 123 by the denominator 10. So let's start by 12 divided by 10. That's 1. 1 times 10, it's 10. Subtract 12 minus 10, that's 2. Then bring down the 3. 23 divided by 10, it's 2. 2 times 10, 20. Subtract 23 minus 20, it's 3. Okay, so therefore, the quotient 12 will be the whole number. Remainder 3 will be the numerator. And then we just need to copy the same denominator of 10. So 123 over 10 is equal to 12 and 3 tenths. For number 3, we have 97 over 4. Again, let's divide the numerator by the denominator 4. So let's start by dividing 9 by 4. It's 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 9 minus 8, that's 1. Bring down the 7. So we have 17 divided by 4. It's 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 17 minus 16, it's 1. So the quotient 24 will be the whole number. The remainder 1 will be the numerator. And then we just need to copy the same denominator for. So 97 over 4 is equal to 24 and 1 fourth. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to solve these problems and just comment your answers.